Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to add a second hard drive into my computer out there. Most computers nowadays uses solid state drive wherein they are small, they are faster than your uh, traditional hard disk drive like what I have here. But what I can tell you guys, your hard disk drives last longer than your solid state drive. Storage wise, these are way better. Jump in and I'm going to show you how you can add a second hard drive for additional storage inside your computer. This is my computer right here. This is my SSD. Uh, in a couple of months that will be full already. So that's my local disk, disk C. Then here, this is SSD. So we are going to add, right? We have to open this one. But of course, before we plug in the hard drive, we need to have a SATA cable that plugs at the back of this hard drive. All right, I think we found one here. Ha, it wasn't opened yet. All right, make sure to shut your computer down, all right? So I'll go ahead and shut this down. Shut down. Open this one. If you can see, this is my SSD here, very small, right? Okay, so for my case, guys, I need to figure out where I'm going to mount this one because for a standard casing, you will put it like this, but there are no mounts that I can mount it. Found it. This is the mount where this is going to be. Did we get it right? Yeah, because there you go. There is an empty one, but guess what? <laughs> you don't need to complete it. You know, it's yours. You see, it, it's, it locks pretty well. So I'm going to put this one back here. Before that, I need to plug this once. The SATA port and then the power so that it's going to power on. So I have this one. This is the SATA cable that goes into this one. Plug it like that. Then I need to find the power cable that fits the, that one. So I have here a couple of them. Plug it here. So this is the orange cable. It needs to go one of these, right? So it goes like that. Ha! And then it's time to fix the cables at the side as it should be. Okay, make sure that all the cables are clear. Put the cover back so that we are all good, right? Turn it on. We just turn on the computer. You check this one out. Just go for uh, here on your search bar and type in disk management. I should uh, management. Okay, create and format format partitions. I'll click this one. Then this window is going to come up. Um, disk management so it's connecting to the disk let's try to wait what's going to show up here okay check this one out this is my C drive identify which is your C drive because once you deleted something then you might ruin your computer so this is my C drive this is my um, SSD that is 930 approximately one terabyte you don't need to touch this one or do anything else here, all right? So what you can do is this one, the second partition. And if we go to my computer here, this PC, let's try to see, we cannot see the partition, right? It wasn't used before, I'll just go ahead and partition, I mean, delete this uh, disk, okay? So this is 1,863 gigabyte that is nearly two terabytes. So I'm very sure that this is the one, okay? So I'll right click here and I'm going to delete volume. So once I deleted this volume, it goes delete. Then um, take note here, guys, that everything that is in this partition will be deleted. You cannot recover it already. Now, once you deleted that one, it will turn into unallocated space. So you go ahead and right click and click on new simple volume. You go for next. Then you use the max uh, space that's available. You go for next. I'll just name this one as W, the letter. It's up to you, just as long as it doesn't have conflict with other drives. So I'll make it W because 
I know that there's no W drive here. And then I go for next. And then a file system, new volume, um, data. I'll just name it data so that uh, it's uh, easier to identify. And then next and then finish. We're just going to wait for a few seconds here. Then you can see it here, W, data, W. And then uh, we should be able to copy and paste files already. So we go back here, my PC, this PC, we have data W here. You can see this one already. So let's just make this one a little bit bigger. Then we can actually copy files already. For example, I want to go ahead and copy one song here, uh, router. Let's just copy some of these ones. I'll go ahead and copy. Copy this one, I'll go to that drive. This is data, that's 1.8 TB, and then I'll go ahead and paste. Ta-da! Quick and easy, so it's fast, right? Um, again, I don't know if there's a bigger file here. Let's go ahead and check something that's... Um, okay, Windows 10, that is three gigabytes. I'll just go ahead and con cut this one, Control X, for me to organize. I'll place it on the PC here, and I'll just go ahead and paste this one. Woo, it's so fast. You can see that speed here, 176 MB, right? Um, the concept here is this drive here is physically different from this drive. So um, it's good if you have a, a separate physical drive wherein you back up your files uh, so that um, if this C drive fails, you will have most of your backup here. So that's what I'm going to do actually because if you try to go to my documents here and then I'll go to properties, you can see that this alone has 307 gigabytes and I can transfer most of those ones in my drive D, which I'm basically going to do later on. If an SSD drive is getting almost full, it's not good. So it's, it's better off you make it at least 50% so that it has this uh, flexibility to work with files. So that's what I'm basically doing. And as you can see, there's the drive that we have there. Um, if you go to task manager here, you can see our uh, drive disk and then go for performance. Then we go to for your disk. Uh, this is disk C. You can see it already here. This is HDD, hard disk drive, HDD, and this is your SSD. And you click on my hard drive there. It's one. 0.8 terabyte, which is nearly 2 terabytes. That's a very big space. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have any questions, just drop a comment down below and I'll try to answer them as much as I can. So if you are not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video. Help me grow this YouTube channel. Thank you and see you on the next one.